On my videos about installing Google services on Graphene OS using a separate profile, it's common to see comments about using Shelter to install them in a work profile instead of a separate user profile. I'm going to be saying work profile and user profile a lot in this video, so I just want to clarify what I'm referring to when I say them. When I say user profile, that's the profile you create when you enable multiple users on your device and then add a user. When I say work profile, that's the profile created by a third-party app such as Shelter, Insular, or Enterprise Managing Employee Devices making use of work profiles. It's also worthwhile to mention that work profiles and user profiles are part of Android OS in general, but in this video I'll be referring to them from the perspective of Graphene OS. When you first install Graphene OS, you have a single profile that's created, which is called the Owner Profile. This profile is created by default and it cannot be deleted. Every install has this. If you enable the setting multiple users, you have the option to create additional user profiles. Each time you create a new user profile, it has its own set of encryption keys specific to that user profile. User profiles are meant to be used as completely separate workspaces, and for all intents and purposes, it might as well be like setting up a completely new phone. Apps cannot see apps running on other user profiles, and there is no communication between user profiles. It's not possible, the option does not exist. Another major feature of user profiles is that you can hold the power button down like you're about to reboot your phone, select end session, and that profile is shut off and everything you have that was running on there has been terminated. Let's say that you have Google services installed on that other user profile so that you can use your banking app. You switch to that user profile, do what you need to do, and then select end session. After selecting end session, you can be certain that those Google services are no longer running. This can help you avoid leaking metadata when you're not actively using that user profile, and you also don't need to worry that those apps are running in the background. Now user profiles also come with some downsides, and the biggest one for some users is convenience. There's no seamless integration between user profiles. If you want to use an app on your other user profile, you need to switch to that user profile to use it. When you're on the second user profile, you won't receive notifications from the main owner profile, and you won't be able to interact from that second user profile with the main owner profile in any way. The reverse is also true. If you have WhatsApp installed on your second user profile, you won't get any notifications when you're on your main owner profile. You'll have to manually switch to that second user profile to see if there was any activity. I like analogies, so I would say that a user profile is similar to a house. You have your home, which has its own set of keys to get in there, and everything is confined to that space. When you create a second user profile, it's like getting another home. Not that this economy would allow for it. But you have another set of keys to get into that home, and everything is confined to that space. If you're in your main home and you want to see what's going on in your second house, you need to leave your main home, use your separate set of keys to get into your second house, and then check what's going on there. Now let's talk about work profiles. Work profiles require an additional app to manage them. The reason an additional app is required to use a work profile is because something needs to manage it. Work profiles are primarily used to create separate groups of apps. As the name implies, work profiles are typically used by organizations that want to have management over a select group of apps on an employee device, such as corporate email. Work profiles allow them to manage their apps that are part of the work profile and keep your personal apps out of their management. This is why you need a third-party app to manage that work profile. Some popular apps for this, besides a corporation, is Shelter and Insular. Shelter is the one I'll be showing and talking about today, but essentially Shelter is emulating a corporation managing your device. As I mentioned, work profiles do require a third-party app to manage them. That means that you are putting all of your trust in that third-party app, whether that's Shelter, Insular, or a corporation managing the device, to determine the level of isolation implemented. With the user profile, there's nothing additional to manage it. To make this a little bit easier to understand, I'm going to bring up the Shelter app to help with my explanation. So inside the app we have two columns, we have Main and Shelter. Main is your main owner profile, and Shelter is the work profile. If we then go to the app drawer, we can now see we have a personal and work, and this is basically the main is personal and work is shelter. So the apps on the work profile generally cannot communicate with the apps on the personal profile. As I mentioned, the app managing the work profile, in this case shelter, determines the level of isolation between the personal and work profiles. So where work profiles really shine is integration. If we go to our app drawer, we can see just how easy it is to switch between personal and work. We get a convenient little icon of a briefcase showing us if it's a work app or a personal app. There's no little briefcase icon. If I want to open the work Aurora store, it's as easy as that. If I want to open the personal one, again, it's as easy as that. And just to show an example of how easy the integration is, you can even drag an icon to your home screen 
and now you can easily select one of the shortcuts to get to either app that you want. Unlike with user profiles where you need to manually switch to the other user profile to see anything on there, the work profile's seamless integration makes it easy to go back and forth. So I can absolutely understand the appeal of work profiles from an integration standpoint. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how personal and work profiles are not truly separate. So as an example to demonstrate this, Shelter has a feature called File Shuttle, which lets you copy files between the personal and work profile and vice versa. So once you go through all the permissions to enable this, you can then copy files between the personal and work profile. So if we go back to our app drawer, we go to personal, we go into files. In the downloads, I currently have this fdroid.apk. If I go back to the work profile, go to files, and in my downloads, there are no files here. So now let's go back to the personal profile, go to files, select fdroid, three dots in the corner, copy to, hamburger menu. If we select shelter, this is now the work profile. We can see at the bottom, you're using this app in your work profile. Go to downloads. As I showed earlier, it was empty. Click copy. Now if we go back to our app drawer, go to the work profile, go to files. We can now see that fdroid.apk is there and we copied it from our personal profile. So this shows that the personal and work profile are not completely separate and you're depending on that third party app to regulate the level of isolation between the personal and work profile. Unlike with user profiles where this type of cross communication is not possible. So besides the true lack of separation, the other main disadvantage is that you can't explicitly control when the apps in the work profile are active. The Shelter app does have a feature which lets you freeze an app, which then essentially suspends it in the background until you need it again so it's not constantly running. But again, you're depending on a third party app to manage that for you. Compared to the user profile where we can select end session and everything inside that user profile is then terminated. So now back to the analogy, while user profiles were completely separate homes, I would compare a work profile to a separate room in your house. Things are generally separated into each room, but if you want to make a pizza in your kitchen with jalapenos and eat it in your bed, you can. So I'm not saying either of these methods are right or wrong. It depends on your threat model, and that's different for everyone. Of course, I have my preference, and my explanation might have come across a bit biased, but the important thing is that you understand what the differences are, and you can make an informed decision on what's best for you.